Okay, hey guys, I finally got Saurus to the point where I think he can actually do uh, stage 12-3 in 6 seconds. So I want to go ahead and showcase that to you and then give you guys a quick like mini overview of his kit. Alright, so let's start with his skills. He is A1, is an AoE. I'm laughing because most of the time when I do these champion guides, there's like an entire paragraph for me to read, but Saurus is so simple, and which is part of the reason as to why I really like Saurus as a uh, as a farmer, or just as a champion in general. He's just so simple. A2 attacks all enemies two times and has a 10% chance of placing a heal reduction, and then places heal reduction debuff if the target's current HP is less than or equal to 40%, but we don't care about that, we're not really using him for a heal reduction i mean you can if you wanted to go ahead and do that uh there's like a uh what do you call it a challenge that requires you to place heal reduction on on one of the ch i think it's the spirit the spirit keep but he's pretty much just going to be a campaign farm you can use him in spider obviously he's going to do well in faction wars and surprisingly he actually does well as a nuclear and arena so let me go ahead and uh let me just pick a fight here and show you guys that real quick and then source will just usually clean up and that's how most of my fights have been going so far not every fight but a good majority of them will do will do this this is not the perfect speed tune this is not the best setup but as you can see source is doing pretty well as a nuker um, let me just do one more just to show you guys Speed boost, and then boom. His A2 smacks pretty damn hard. So right now it says my best time is 7 seconds. That's on mobile. I will preface this with saying that his gear and his stats aren't exactly perfect yet. But what I've done to get around this, and I'll explain more as I, as I go through, is I've set up a preset where his first wave, he can kill them pretty easily with just his A1. The second wave, he kills them pretty easily with just his a1 and then round three i have him well his ai will automatically use fire wave so his two hitter which also hits harder will take care of the third wave and he takes care of them pretty easily if you just throw him in there this run will take sometimes like somewhere between eight to ten seconds and the reason is because the first two waves are really easy to get through but then the third wave because they have lord shazar who is a Lego, I'm assuming that's part of the reason as to why you know, he's a little bit tankier than pretty much everybody else. So he usually survives the first wave. And going in without a preset, Saurus will use his A1, then he uses A2 on the second round, and he goes into the third round with his A1. So what I've done to circumvent that was just put the food in with the presets and let me show you guys let's see if we can beat our seven second run bring it down to a six second run forgive me if i sound nasally i'm still getting over a, a sickness so there we go the first wave cleared there we go the second wave cleared and then boom third wave cleared there it is guys a six second farmer in saurus now if you guys didn't know this now you know <laughs> because i was speaking highly of saurus for quite some time It did take a while for me to get here, to get him specifically to the farmer that I wanted him to be, and that's because I've been spread thin, running multiple accounts. But okay, yeah, so now he's my farmer, he's my 6 second farmer, there's a lot of benefit to it, so what's so important about having a 6 second farmer? Because we could just use Kale, right? There's nothing wrong with using Kale. The issue that I have with Kale is, even if I do max him out, get the masteries on him, bring him to 60, he's never going to be a 6 second farmer. His A2 does an AoE, you can nuke through that. And yeah, you could prob you will probably get that extra hit. But then after that, he still does his A3, which only hits four times, it's at random, and then his A1. Even at best, from what I remember, and I've run multiple accounts, every time I've used Kale, at best, he's like a 30 second farmer. 30, 35 second, more, on, more so on average, he's somewhere between 35 to 40 seconds as a farmer let me know if you guys have faster speeds but even when i've maxed kale out he's not doing a six second farm not like saurus is 
if you don't have somebody like a skull crown where all of her moves are aoe and she hits like a truck or bellower where his moves are also in aoe or in the demon spawn you have fellhound who is a notorious campaign farmer See right here, 4.9, that's almost a perfect 5. Now, I can't lie to you guys, I actually haven't used Fellhound as a farmer before. So if you guys want to build him, just like I do, let me show you guys his gear real quick. You're mainly focusing on crit rate, crit damage, and attack. You don't really have to worry about speed. We have crit damage, so we're prioritizing, like I said, crit damage, attack, crit damage here and then attack for the banner. Because Lord Shazar is only going at a speed of 101. So technically you could build him at like 102. I, for some reason, think 103 in my head whenever I think about Source, but 102 seems to be just about right. You wanna go just as a little bit faster than the fastest champion in stage 12-3 Brutal, which is Lord Shazar. And I'm not saying keep his speed that down low, but I'm saying that if you wanted to build him out, this is how you could could do it. Focus mostly on attack and crit damage, making sure he is crit cap. I do have 129 speed subsequently as a result of just the gear that he has. We're at 3,800 points of attack. We have 129 speed, 101 crit rate, and 179 crit damage. This was working when I had him at 3.5k attack, but it was only like a eight second run at best so just keep that in mind like if if you the, the banner is what really helped me take him to where i need like here let me let me show you guys in fact let's just do an experiment does the banner even matter let's take this off real quick and let's go do a, a run real quick and see same presets and everything we'll see if he's still one shotting to the waves okay so he missed that one he still got the other one i think maybe the Okay, let's try it one more time. Seven second run. Maybe that was just a one-off. Okay, so we cleared that. We cleared... Oh, we didn't clear that. So, okay, so there are some inconsistencies. But still, you're looking at a... Well, the last one was a seven second run, and then this one's a ten second run. Let's do one more. Cleared it out. Cleared it out. Cleared it out. So there it is. A six second farmer, even with that banner off. So... This is uncut raw footage. He still doesn't have his banner. Let me show you guys. 3.4k attack. Nearly 3.5. And then as much crit damage as you can get. So that, that's what I've been saying. Anytime I build a campaign farmer, the stats that I look for are generally about 3.5k attack. 3,500 attack. 100% crit damage. Or 100% crit rate, sorry. And then as much crit damage as I can get. I don't know the exact crit damage threshold that you might need. I haven't figured that out yet, but I'm thinking like maybe 150% crit damage. It's kind of the number that I go for, but in hindsight, maybe, maybe not. I, I don't know. Just, just know that the more crit damage you can get, the better. All right, let's go slap this banner back on. I got lucky with this banner, by the way. Uh, it was just, I got it from the forge pass. So we're going to equip that. Really good to know. Bare minimum, 3.475k attack and then 179 crit damage with 100 crit rate. Here are the masteries. And here we're going down, getting some extra crit rate, some extra crit damage. We want to take Ruthless Ambush to get an increase to damage on the first hit of each enemy within each round. You don't really have to take Life Drinker, but I did. Wrath of the Slain, for every dead ally... Uh, he does more damage, but you're going to go before the other team goes, so this doesn't really matter. And then Methodical to increase damage every time the default skill is used. So going into that second round, we're going to be doing even more damage. And then kill streak more damage for everybody killed per round. So this bumps up to 12%. So an extra 3% in all locations for each enemy killed, an extra 12%. So... By the third round, he's getting an, an extra 12% boost. And then we're taking Helm Smasher, because when this procs, we're going to ignore 25% of the target's defense. So this helps to make sure the waves are being cleared. And what I did here was I took the extra stat bonuses from Lore of Steel. It's not much, but it's something. And then for extra speed, but nobody ever really dies when you're doing this. And then pushing back turn meter. 
He is fully booked, so make sure you fully book him. You want that extra damage. Forgot to mention that. And he's really easy to book because you can summon him from shards. He is an uncommon champion. Uh, is that what they're called? Yeah, uncommon champions. You can drop him from here. Sometimes he'll be in the shop. Or you can farm him. And the reason I'm telling you where to get him is because if you want to farm him specifically, or if you want to get books for him, because you can use copies of Source to feed into Source to book up Source. And that's something that you should know about. I don't think these stats are too outlandish. I think these are pretty attainable even early on. As long as you know what you're looking for and you're pouring everything into Saurus as a campaign farmer early on. And now that I have a campaign farmer, it's getting a lot easier to farm up food to bring my Sun Wukong, who I'm going to 6 star next. And if you happen to have the opportunity to put him in Savage Gear, which ignores 25% of the enemy defense, or maybe even something like Lethal or Instinct, or even a Cruel set that you can get from doing clan boss uh it doesn't show here but i don't know why it doesn't show here but you get you get the cruel set from the clan boss if you do that and put him in ignoring defense gear you might even be able to get away with less stats just because ignoring extra defense is a huge thing here but if you're like the rest of us you're gonna want to farm dragon and i have just the video for you right here three teams including an all rare team 